This is my fifth generation Toyota 4Runner SR5 Premium, which I recently picked up. If you're a subscriber on the channel, you've already seen several videos on the 4Runner, and you'll know that overall, I think it's one of the best SUVs out there within a very competitive SUV market. On the styling front, it's a really great looking vehicle. It's got a very timeless design to it, very bold, very rugged. And likewise, when you get inside the vehicle, also has a very nicely appointed interior. And some of that rugged look that you see on the exterior is carried over to the interior. Also comes with a lot of really nice standard options and features, and just overall a really great looking vehicle inside and out. It's also one of the most off-road capable SUVs out there, and that's really becoming rare in today's world. There are a lot of crossover SUVs out there which are built on car chassis, a lot of vehicles that have very rugged styling but aren't really that capable when it comes to that off-road driving. And with the 4Runner, that's not the case. It really is a truly off-road capable SUV. The proportions of the vehicle, the equipment on the vehicle, all give it that ability to be very capable in those true off-roading situations. It's also got some of the best resale value of any vehicle out there. And being a 4Runner, it also has that reputation as being one of the most reliable and durable vehicles on the road. Now for 2020, the 4Runner's offering seven different trim packages, starting off with the base SR5 model, then the SR5 Premium, the TRD Off-Road, the TRD Off-Road Premium, the Venture Special Edition, the Limited, and then the TRD Pro model. Now I would have ideally liked to get into the TRD Pro model. It comes with the most luxury and tech features, off-road capability, and some really cool unique color combos that you can't get in the rest of the 4Runner lineup. Unfortunately, that TRD Pro model is not offered with a third row seat, which is one of the main things that we wanted in our next vehicle. So that narrowed us down to the SR5, the SR5 Premium, and the Limited model. I don't care for the styling on the Limited, and you pay a lot more for the Limited than you do for the other 4Runner models. And so, narrowed us down to the SR5 and the Premium. With the Premium, you get a few additional luxury and tech features, and so that's where we landed. And overall, it really is a great vehicle, but there are a few features that I wish were available on the SR5 Premium that would really complete the package. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about those five things that I would add to the SR5 Premium. Now, the first feature that I really wish the SR5 Premium had was a smart key with automatic unlocking, locking, and push button start. And that's a feature that is available on some of the other 4Runner trim packages, but if you want a third row seat, the only model you can get it on is the Limited. And so unfortunately, we've had to get used to using the key again to get into our vehicle. We've got a Toyota Tacoma and a Volkswagen Golf as our other vehicles. Both of those vehicles have smart keys with that automatic unlocking, locking feature and push button start. And it's really weird because that used to be such a normal thing to use a key to get into the vehicle and to start the vehicle. And it's really uh, become kind of uh, foreign to us a little bit because of our other vehicles. And so with the 4Runner, we're relearning how to use a key to unlock the vehicle, lock the vehicle, and to start it. Really wish that they offered a smart key with the SR5 Premium package. Looking inside the 4Runner, you'll see that it's got a really nice looking interior with a lot of really nice detailing. The only real upgrade that you see with the SR5 Premium package in this sense is with the fake leather seats. So the SR5 base model also comes with a really nice level of refinement here. The one feature that we'd really like to see on the interior with the SR5 Premium package is dual zone climate control. So you can see our controls here. Again, that dual zone climate control is available on that limited package, but unfortunately not available in the SR5 Premium. And due to different preferences between my wife and I when it comes to temperature in the vehicle, can be a real point of contention. Really nice in our other vehicles that we can adjust those independently to have one side cooler or hotter than the other. The next feature that I wish we had on the SR5 Premium Package was an electronic rear hatch. Now I first experienced an electronic rear hatch on my 2013 Audi Q5 and when we bought that vehicle, I felt like it was a gimmick. I felt like we were spending money on something I didn't really need. It was just one more thing that was gonna break, wasn't gonna add any additional convenience or functionality and I was completely wrong and completely sold on the feature over the three years that we had it. Now picture yourself at the grocery store coming out, you've got a couple bags in your cart, you decide to leave the cart at the front door and carry them out in your arms. You approach the vehicle, when you get to the vehicle, now you gotta open the rear hatch. Now, if you've got a really heavy rear hatch, you're not gonna be able to do that while you balance your groceries. So you've gotta set them down or you've gotta balance them in your legs while you get your one arm free to try to open the rear hatch. Well, imagine you have an electronic rear hatch and you've got your bags in your hands, but you've got one finger that's free. Well, all you gotta do is take that one finger and just tap on that little button at the rear hatch and it's gonna open electronically for you. And I cannot count the number of times that that happened to me where I had my arms full of heavy things and I came up to the vehicle 
and because of the smart key and because of the electronic rear hatch made it very easy to access the vehicle and so a really handy feature unfortunately with the forerunner in the sr5 premium package you can't get that electronic rear hatch and it has a very heavy rear door so especially when you're on like a hill or something you find that you're really struggling against gravity to get that open and so that'd be a really nice feature to see on the SR5 Premium Package. Now another feature that I'd really like to see on the SR5 Premium Package is the multi-terrain select and the locking rear differential. Now, as I mentioned, that third row seat is only available in the SR5, the SR5 Premium, and the Limited model. And if you think about that, those are all of the least off-road capable models. So if you want a TRD Off-Road, TRD Off-Road Premium, the Venture Special Edition, or the Pro model, which are all of the off-road options, you can't get that third row seat and so they're basically saying you can either have a family or you can go off-roading and that's essentially the answer that the dealer gave me when i asked them about this i kind of questioned and they said oh well toyota's thinking that if you've got a third row seat and you've got kids back there you're not going to go off-roading well why wouldn't you go off-roading with kids in the back seat i don't see any reason why that would be an issue um, fortunately, I don't plan on doing real intense off-roading with the vehicle, and so I'm hoping that won't be an issue. I do have a 2016 TRD off-road Tacoma, and the locking differential I've only used maybe once or twice to get out of sticky situations. Likewise, the multi-terrain select came in very handy with the crawl control feature once or twice to get out of uh, snow. And so, you know, it is a nice feature, but it's also something I use fairly infrequently, so I'm hoping it won't be an issue with the SR5 Premium, but I do wish that they offered um, basically the SR5 Premium package with some of those off-road capability features too. Now, in addition to saying that you can't go off-roading with your family, Toyota is also saying that if you've got a family, no hood scoop. And unfortunately, you can't get the SR5, the SR5 Premium, or the limited model with a hood scoop. Obviously, it's just aesthetic. It's not adding any additional functionality, but it does look pretty cool. So that's another thing that I wish they offered on the SR5 Premium package. So there you go. Those are the five features that I wish they offered on the SR5 Premium model. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. For more 4Runner videos, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.